It's been a hard year for everyone. As we deal with a global pandemic, social isolation, political unrest, and our nation's reckoning with our history of racial injustice, it's easy to lose hope, to stop fighting, to retreat. But every time I lose hope, I'm reminded of our homeless neighbors, people who fight each and every day just for survival, and organizations like Columbus House that work night and day to give them housing, that gives me hope. Hi, my name is Lauren McGowan, and I'm the Senior Director of Ending Homelessness and Poverty at United Way in Seattle. I'm also a proud supporter of Columbus House. Homelessness was a crisis in Connecticut and across the country long before COVID-19. Too many people were staying in our streets, in our parks, in vehicles, and in tents. They were moms and dads, aunts and uncles, grandparents, veterans, college students, and young children. And far too often, they were people of color who became homeless because of systemic racism and oppression. For each of them, homelessness is a personal crisis. For our communities, it's a humanitarian crisis and a public health emergency that requires bold and urgent action. The health and economic impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic will cause even more people to fall into homelessness. And the data tells us that black, indigenous, and other people of color will be overrepresented. It is unacceptable, it is unjust, and it is fixable. Housing ends homelessness. And supportive services and income supports keep people in housing. But Connecticut, like most communities, doesn't have enough housing, especially for the lowest income people. And our crisis response system is overwhelmed. That is why I love the work Columbus House is doing. They are helping people get off the streets and into housing and preventing people from experiencing the trauma of homelessness. Columbus House gives people hope. I know a bit about the trauma of homelessness. Over the last 15 years, I've worked with people all across Washington State experiencing homelessness. I've watched as their pride and dignity was shattered. I've heard the stories of being alone outside with no place to go. I've seen people look past them, ignoring their very presence. And I've heard people blame them for their experience. But I've also seen how grateful they are for so little. And I've seen the transformation that comes from housing. Because housing gives hope and it ends homelessness. Homelessness is also a deeply personal issue. My mom, Fran, struggled with chronic homelessness for many years in my hometown of West Haven, Connecticut. In fact, she was a client of Columbus House. Growing up, she was your average mom. She worked hard, took her kids to school and ballet and baseball, and she loved her family unconditionally. And then something happened. Financial challenges and undiagnosed mental illness led her world to fall apart. She spiraled down a path of substance abuse, lost income, and eventually separation from my dad and much of her world. She went in and out of shelters and hotels and rehab programs, but what she needed was housing. She spent her days riding buses between job interviews and social service organizations. She spent her nights behind a church in West Haven, struggling each and every night to stay safe and warm. She was lonely and afraid. She would fall asleep reading and dreaming about her future home. My mom didn't choose to be homeless. I don't know anyone who does. She worked when she could. She often felt safer outside than in shelters. And she used alcohol to stay warm and deal with the trauma of homelessness. My mom and I talked each and every night. We would talk about politics and books, the future and housing housing that she would never get. 
We ended every single conversation where I would say, I love you. And she would say, I love you more. And that last time that she said, I love you more is something I will never forget. Because soon after she died on the streets in West Haven, her cause of death, homelessness. That shouldn't have happened to my mom or any moms. It's easy to place blame for what happened to my mom, to ask why she didn't try harder, why I didn't do more, why she couldn't get the help she needed, why Columbus House couldn't do more for her. But placing blame, it won't help my mom or any other moms because we know what she needed. It was housing. And so I've funneled my anger and taking her story into action. Her story didn't end when she died because we're gonna fight each and every day to make sure that people like Fran have housing. And that is why places like Columbus House are so important. They provide hope and healing and most importantly, homes. I've watched Columbus House over the years. Columbus House helped my dad a veteran exit homelessness with the help of a VASH voucher because housing ends homelessness. I've watched Columbus House expand shelter beds and housing units over the years because housing ends homelessness. And I've watched as this incredible organization has responded to the COVID-19 pandemic with care and love for our neighbors experiencing homelessness. I work to fight homelessness every day because of people like my mom. And what I know is that we can end homelessness because people don't choose to be homeless, but our country has chosen not to end it. But that's where Columbus House comes in. Columbus House is doing great work every single day. And people like you, people who support this organization are allowing more and more people to move into housing. Thank you for being part of that journey and please do everything you can to share the work that Columbus House is doing with your friends and neighbors. Here at Columbus House, our main goal is to house the homeless population. And we accomplish this goal through many different avenues. We connect the homeless population to substance abuse providers, mental health providers. We would integrate them back into society by reconnecting them with their families. Coming here, they also get a case manager that will assist them in things of identification that they might have lost, birth certificate, social security cards, things in that nature. Our main goal is to house them, but we do help them get their life back on track in every avenue that they need assistance with. Upon meeting a resident, the case manager will sit down and they will discuss their goals. So the goals that are set for the individual is person-centered goals that them and the case manager set forth together. Now some goals be different from others depending on the client. Someone's goals may be to find a job, find employment, even connecting them with their family be their first goal. So they just set the goals and every week they meet with their case manager to work on these goals. I can tell a story about one client. She stated that she was homeless for 10 years. When she first arrived in the shelter, she walked with her head down. She had this just depressed state that she had walking around the shelter. You, you could just see that she wasn't in a good a mindset. After meeting with her case manager, her case manager referred her to some some treatment, mental health, substance abuse, got her just feeling good about herself, told her that she could succeed in life. All she had to do was take one step, take one little baby step. That's all it would take, one step at a time. So she connected it with the substance abuse treatment, started focusing more on herself, taking care of herself. Then she uh, started getting the things that she needed, like identifications birth certificates, social security cards, so she can move forth and looking for a job. And this made her brighten up. She gained employment at Family Dollar, a part-time job. And you could just see her glowing now. 
She's glowing every morning as she wake up, she gotta go to work. You can just see her spirit. She just come to the front desk bouncing. Even though it was a part-time job, the Columbus House and her case manager were able to find her a living quarters. It was shared living, but that just brought so much joy to her because she hadn't had her own place in such a long time. And then one day out the blue, she just came back to visit us. And she didn't say much. All she wanted to say was thank you for all the encouraging words that the staff gave her, all the help that she had gained while she was here. And that's it. She just said thank you and left. And that is just one story of many clients that the Columbus House has successfully housed or even just helped get their life back on track. Some clients even go back to family members once they get their life on track. So the Columbus House has many services that they provide. The main goal is to meet the client where they at.